Hey everybody, welcome back to another Making Stuff video and I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering whatever happened to this and that would be the filament extruder and the problem with it is we pretty much hit a brick wall and the brick wall is right here, the digital calipers that control the puller rollers. Now the problem, like I said, is with the digital calipers and it is the Pittsburgh brand you get these at Harbor Freight uh, you can catch them on sale for less than ten dollars uh, the last time they were on sale with a coupon I bought a bunch of these and these are the desired calipers for this project and this is why it's because when the calipers are turned on they measure the filament size but they will power off after a while but they only power off the screen they will continue to measure and they will continue to output the values uh, through the, the built-in port when the screen's turned off. So this was the desired caliper to use. Uh, the others would just automatically power off, say after four or five minutes. Now, the problem we've got, and I've had this problem, and Russ has the exact same problem, is this. Let's say you're trucking along here and you're filling it. You've got your filament and you got it dialed in and it's close and it's 1.79 millimeters. After a while, and by a while I mean completely at random, it's like somebody hits the zero button. So your calipers are measuring that filament, they reset the zero, so now everything's thrown off because there's no way to reset this while filament's running because the, the way to reset it is you have to close the calipers you know, hit the zero button and then, you know, hook this back up. And there's just really no way to do it. You'll, your filament's going to be all messed up. That, that whole section's going to be messed up. So that's the problem we're having with the calipers right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a link over on the open source energy forum. And I'm going to put a link to that in the description. We're going to have a forum over there and we're going to create a new thread, a new section just for the filament extruder and that's where we're going to post all the information. Now if you guys have any ideas on, on how to fix this or if, if you've encountered this problem and you know how to fix it, we'd love to hear from you. I will say this, on the circuit board, a lot of you are going to say, oh well you, you need some filter caps. Well we've tried that. We've tried the filter caps. There's a bunch of filter caps on here. I don't think filter caps are going to solve the problem of this thing just automatically going to zero. So if you're interested in helping, if you got any ideas, you know, how to, to make this work, go over to the forums. You can put a comment if you like, but we really prefer that you go to the forums because trying to keep up with the comments on several, several YouTube videos. It's just the, the comment section isn't really the place to discuss and try and fix this. So head on over to the forum, the link is in the description, and if you guys want to help, head over there and just let us know what you think, your ideas, and we're also trying to investigate, if you look on some of these videos of filament extruders that other people have made, there's some type of optical sensor that's being used, and there's really just not a whole lot of information out there. So if anybody knows about this optical sensor that's being used, where we can just ditch these all together or maybe there's something else out there that you know about that nobody else knows or that we're just overlooking shoot over there to the forums you know let us know what you think and your ideas and all and we we would really appreciate it all right so there is a quick update on the filament extruder and where we stand with it if you're not a subscriber please subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos on the subject and until next time thanks for watching